We got Devin, we got, what's your name again? Uh, Sage. Sage. And then I also bought Joss and I got five pens and a cocktail to sign her foot because I love her photography so much. We also got the free gift which is a little drawstring bag that says Shine Athletics. Christmas photos in the middle of January. Well, the start of January. Gabby. Behind the scenes of a photo shoot with Gabby. Everybody comment that Gabby should come back to Instagram. Beautiful Devin just fell. We Hi. saw Zoe near us, so Hi. we decided to tell her to join our chaotic photo shoot. Also, there is a lone Luciana at the table over there. Oh, I'm alone. I can relate. Oh my god. I really wanted to unbox her at the store because I want to take photos of her already, so we're gonna do it. Hairnet, you got the zoom in? It's very out of focus. But. Oh, great. Okay. I love her. I love her. I love her. She's so cute. I love her. 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 I love over here and when you remove the hearing aid it's more of a pentagon type of shape in her ear and most of the time her hair is covering it so it's not too big of a deal to put it on you just kind of slide it behind the ear and line it up Most of the dolls at the store that I was at, Seattle, had really good eyes and I didn't really see anything to complain about, though I did hear somebody say that there was one Joss that had a cracked eye and I don't think I caught that one. So she does have the darker brown eyes and she has a new face mold, which I would describe as a mashup between Josefina, Classic, and kind of the roundness of a Mary Grace mold and it's very unique. Her meat outfit is this swimsuit, which is pink with some blue designs on it. She also has a hoodie, which is white and blue with some little oceany decals. These shorts are adorable. They're denim shorts and the stitching's adorable. I love the three buttons. There's cute little belt loops. One of the pockets does have some green and pink stitching on it. She also comes with pink rubber flip-flops and they are a little bit difficult to put on and remove. And I actually do own the same shoes that came with Leah beach outfit. So the green ones are from Leah's collection, the pink ones are from Joss's collection. You can see they're the exact same and I do wish that they didn't do full-on plastic shoes but I think Joss is overall really cute. A fun fact about my Joss is that I decided to get her foot signed by five hens and a cockatiel on Instagram. As for her name, I think I'm going to be naming her Marlo as her first name and I'm thinking of Ross for her last name. As for her middle name, I'm still thinking about it. So if you guys have any suggestions, comment them down below. And now I'm going to go into everything I got at the meetup. So the craft at the meetup is this surfboard craft 
the person said I could take as many as I wanted, so I took two. So that's my unopened one, and then I made this one at Panera. And I wrote Marlo on it with two stars, and I think it's really cute, and this will be really cute in her room. When you buy Joss, you get this little information sheet which just says that the hearing aid is only meant to fit into her right ear. So since Joss comes wearing a swimsuit, underwear is provided in her box, so I'm going to open that up. Unfortunately, it is that newer underwear material that I don't like as much because it snags on everything, but it's a light pink with white elastic. She also comes with this little case for her hearing aids, and from the opening videos I watched prior to buying her, I thought this case was more of a human size case, and I'm just going to show you guys next to my hand. It's tinier than I thought it would be. It's a light blue, and there's a little hinge in the back, and when you open it up, both of her... Both of her hearing aids come inside. I put one of them on already, but you have another hearing aid in case one gets lost and a little brush. And I thought it was actually like a human sized brush because I thought all of this was going to be way bigger. And I thought it was used to clean the doll's ear if dust got stuck in there and stopped you from putting on the hearing aid. No, it's plastic bristles. Here you can see the brush, it's plastic but it's a little bit flimsy. And here's a detailed close-up of her hearing aid. It's clear. It's a little ball with this side here being more flat, and then this is a little rubbery hearing aid. Every year there is a free gift for the Girl of the Year's release. I have Luciana's t-shirt, I have Blair's apron, and this year there is a bag for Joss, and I find it really interesting that it says Girl of the Year 2020 and not Joss because normally it has the doll's name on it. So let's open it up. It's a drawstring bag, so it's kind of a peachy orange. It says Shine Athletics, which is Joss's cheer gym, Girl of the Year 2020 American Girl, and there are blue straps on it. The back is just plain, and I messed that up. You pull these here, and it becomes a drawstring bag. Of course, I also picked up her catalog. There's also this surfboard coloring sheet, and on the other side, it's a Joss poster, and I really love her whole aesthetic with the sunset and the colors in her collection, so that's why I picked this item up. Now on to what I received from other AGIGers. I got this poster from 18 Inch Doll World. I got this poster from Five Hens and a Cockatail. I got this photo from Hannah Hobie AG. And I got this photo from Alone in the Doll World. Miss J's Home for Imaginary Girls made bags for us this year. Last year she was the person who made the Blair Cupcakes. So she had a few different patterns I could choose from, so I chose this one. It's 4 p.m. guys, well 4.30 p.m. and I'm seeing the sunset out my window and I'm just getting Joss vibes. Maybe I'll take a photo of her, anyways. And then it's really pretty and there's a string and on the inside it opens up and this is really cute and yeah, thank you for the gift. You can't really see it, but look at the sunset, it's so pretty.